Are you blood sugar stable? Or are you on that blood sugar roller coaster? If your body is programmed to burn carbs, you cannot sustain physical performance without constantly shotgunning a lot of carbohydrates. It's a losing battle when you approach your nutrition and fueling this way, no matter who you are. The more optimized your fat metabolism, the greater your stability in blood sugar. So, whether you are running technical trails, scoring or blocking goals in soccer or hockey, shooting hoops, or competing for an Olympic gold medal, maintain that edge with performance level fat adaptation. Hi there. Blood sugar stable, like strategic carbohydrates, is a term I coined years ago and is absolutely critical for sustained performance across a wide spectrum of performance metrics, not just endurance. Why is that? Ironically, the more optimized your fat metabolism, the greater your stability in blood sugar. Now, on the other hand, if your body and cells are programmed to burn carbs, you cannot sustain top-level physical performance without constantly shotgunning a lot of carbohydrates because eventually you'll burn through those glycogen stores. It's a losing battle when you approach your nutrition and fueling this way, no matter who you are. You are literally on a blood sugar roller coaster. Doesn't matter if you are just a desk jockey or on the other end, an elite athlete, a dentist, a surgeon, paraglider, or pilot. And sure, hacking your way with gels, snacking, caffeine, or energy sports drinks will get you out of a pinch, but a hack is just that, a hack. Need I say more? So instead of hacking away, how about a more sophisticated approach? one that works with your body's natural physiology and metabolism, the one evolution shaped you for instead of that quick fix, which has become oh so cool by using the buzzword biohack. Yeah, I'm a boomer and I don't get it, right? All right, enter Vespa and OFM. Now, as counterintuitive as it sounds, Anything you can do to enhance fat metabolism will enhance blood sugar stability and availability. Now, our approach is somewhat different from keto because we focus on cutting edge fat adaptation. Fat adaptation enhances carbohydrate utilization and tolerance to be able to use those strategic carbs to enhance fat metabolism. Yeah, yeah, now I, I know it was a, that was a mouthful, but noodle on it. Performance aside, blood sugar stability is critically important in every aspect of your life and not just an oversimplified fueling and dietary equation of calories in, calories out. But the point I am trying to articulate in this vlog is this. Blood sugar changes are so subtle and sensitive, any slight change affects you. Because blood sugar can potentially fall off so fast, leading to hypoglycemia, your body is constantly monitoring blood sugar to maintain it at a safe level, as best it can, but these slight variations can and do affect you. What this all looks like varies from person to person. Let's make that clear. For context, blood sugar levels and small changes in them for someone who is diabetic or pre-diabetic are going to be very different from a person who is in deep ketosis. Okay, it's not a simple one-size-fits-all thing, right? Now, got that? Okay, now here is the reason this is important for your performance. When blood sugar falls off, even slightly, you lose fine motor skills and coordination. You lose your mental focus and you lose emotional stability. So yeah, I know you might be thinking, thanks Captain Obvious, I already know this when I bonk. But here's what you don't know. Blood sugar changes sharply diminish 
all these upper level executive functions before you sense fatigue and recognize you have lost your edge. A perfect profile for this is a guy named Alexei Yagudin, the Russian figure skater who in 2002 won every competition he entered, including the Olympic gold medal in men's figure skating, with a score of 106.6 points out of a possible 108 points, the highest ever scored by an individual skater in the history of the Winter Olympics. Going into the 2001-2002 season, Alexei started training and performing using Vespa. During the season, he won every international competition he entered, including the World Championships, the Winter Olympics, the European Championships, and the Grand Prix Final. Did Vespa help during those competitions? Sure. But just as significant, if not more, was Alexei's use of Vespa in training. You see, the demands of figure skating require supreme focus and razor-sharp motor skills combined with an explosive glycolytic burst of the muscle fibers to execute the movements. All sharply impact blood sugar stability. And in the sport of figure skating, the athlete can only train and perfect their craft as long as they are blood sugar stable. At this level of the sport, the moment a figure skater's diligent coach notes a lapse or quiver in the skating, skater's ability to execute to perfection, the training stops. And this happens faster than anyone realizes. In Alexei's case, by using Vespa during training to give him that boost in fat oxidation, which effectively stabilized his blood sugar, Alexei was able to train harder and longer to better execute the movements and embed his muscle memory to perfect his craft. Performing simply became a showcase of the hours of hard, focused work to achieve this level of human potential. So, whether you are running technical trails, scoring or blocking goals in soccer or hockey, shooting hoops, skiing or snowboarding, paragliding the Alps, performing surgery, say giving an important presentation, or out for a mountain bike ride, or even competing for an Olympic gold medal, maintain that edge with performance level fat adaptation. Whether you are fat adapted or not, Vespa will get you to another level of you like it did for Alexei. Or in the words of one of our athletes, Howard Galbraith, at 65 years old and a top masters in the sport of observed motor trials, he says, with Vespa, I don't make stupid mistakes late in an event. So grab a 12-pack of Vespa today and to find and maintain your edge.